as you're aware, in 2004, the Cayman Islands experienced an earthquake measuring of magnitude 6, 6 plus, 6 upwards, 6.8. This morning, we're here to share with you um, the risks of earthquakes and how you can protect yourselves during an earthquake. This program started in 2007, where we sensitized a couple of schools in the Georgetown era, and we have expanded it now to the entire Grand Cayman. And we gave a talk to the students and also to the staff of the school, um, sensitizing them how to prepare for earthquakes and the effects of, of an earthquake, and also how they could protect themselves during an earthquake. In Cayman, we tend to feel that the only hazard we have to be prepared for are hurricanes and floods resulting from hurricanes. And a lot of our children don't realize that we are, we are in the earthquake zone. Just cover and hide. Just cover and hide. Today we executed an earthquake drill uh, where we simulated an earthquake occurred. The students, teachers were allowed to take the necessary protective actions protect themselves, go under a sturdy piece of furniture in the door jam. At the end of the earthquake, they evacuated to and a safe area, did a road call to ensure that everyone was accounted for, and that was the end of the drill. And so we plan to continue this on an annual basis and go around to not only schools, but also business entities um, around the Cayman Islands. This preparedness activity involves making household items safe, making your home safe, making your office space safe from items that probably could topple during the earthquake, you know, a floor plant, a fan, a ceiling fan that is not connected properly, that sort of thing. Um, so there's quite a bit of work left to be done to sensitize the population that yes, Cayman Islands uh, are vulnerable to the effects of, of an earthquake. If we can get them to understand that earthquakes won't only affect them at school, it's also something that's going to affect them at home, and we get them to become sensitized to what to do, when to do it, and how to get things done, and they'll talk to their parents and their, their other siblings, and hopefully we won't have to reach out to every single individual, but the children can do that for us, a kind of a, a Christmas tree effect if you want. What they learn, they'll spread, and hopefully in the event of an earthquake, people who had no contact with us directly will learn from those kids and respond in a proper manner.